peace. Come in the righteous name of Lord Supreme. Man. You know, what I wanted to build on, that's a beautiful ass tree. I love that tree. That's why I love the fall. Such beautiful, vibrant colors, man. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about right is years, months, and days, you know, brothers and sisters have finally came to the understanding that there is nothing up there in the sky or even in the universe except yourself. Like, you got to look at, like, for instance, let me tell you something, all right? I don't like when people stare at me. Like, you see this? You see this right here? People be staring. Don't even be, I don't even want to ask a question because they're scared to ask the question. Yo, for years, months, and days, we've been sitting here wondering who and what is God? And the funny thing is, is that when you finally get an understanding of who and what is God, all that imaginary friend shit is out the window. Let me let me give you an instance to, to do my best to make it make sense. So you mean, so you mean to tell me that, right? There is a man that is all the way up here looking at me you you gotta you gotta give the instance when the instance is, is, is needed you gotta really take the time and look and invest the time just look it's a whole sky right here a whole sky look I'm just showing you I'm showing you this for a reason you mean to tell me me walking on this planet that is floating in the orbit of the universe that another man who's floating around in that same universe is 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 judging me no see the problem is a lot of people need something to lean on and and sometimes they use the mystery god as a crutch why is that that's an easy answer to, to give you. Well, due to the simple fact that people like to neglect accountability and shift responsibility, it makes it easier for a person to say certain things like, God knows my heart. Or when something happens and you don't have the scientific or the, the strategic plan on how it happened, God works in mysterious ways. You feel what I'm saying? And the thing about it is, it's not about me teaching you that the black man is God. It's just me teaching you how to use your sound logic. I ain't saying common sense because it ain't nothing common about the sense. Because a lot of stuff that people say is common. Oh. A lot of shit that people say or do doesn't make sense. So why would I want to make sense of an imaginary man sitting there looking at me, judging me for all my bad or good deeds? That sounds ridiculous. You know, and it's fucked up because as years went on, as years went on, people begin to actually buy into this. You know what I'm saying? Like, pardon me, ladies. Thank you so much. People begin to buy into this for years, months, and days, and they ain't know what strategy or how to go about asking certain questions to get the right response. You can't go to a Christian and expect to get the answer of who and what is God. They're going to give you the most valuable answer that they feel they want to give you. Why is that? Because they, it's been embedded and instilled in their minds for years, months, and days to have them believe that the almighty, true, and living God is a mystery and that can't be seen with the physical eye. But how is it something that's intangible can be tangible and brought to life and seen right before your very eyes? What do I mean? Okay. 
the intangible intelligence, which means something that has not been in existence yet can be made tangible. In other words, felt, seen, heard, understood. You know what I'm saying? Revealed. Like, okay. Nobody knows that you're going to be an investor in like a couple years. Nobody knows that. You know why nobody knows that? Because you either, one, you didn't verbalize it. Two, you wasn't thinking about it. Or three, you're not trying to be an investor. So if you're in the process of being an investor, right? The best thing for you to do is what? Strategically follow a plan. Everything is planned, purpose, and, di- and, dire- and, and has a direction on why it's happening the way it's happening. It's not like, poof, God is right there and now he's judging all humans. That doesn't make any sense. The closest man, the closest thing to God is man. Why are you guys like, you guys make this so difficult to grasp and the concept so far-fetched it's like do you guys even listen to yourself nowadays it's 2021 you guys still on that mystery guy shit you know it's just like shifting the blame and not being accountable it's just as worse it's just as worse as you sitting here as a grown adult going to church worshiping another man idolizing and praising another man that's basically what you you're telling another man to praise another man instead of him praising himself and knowing himself and knowing his origin in his world. You feel what I'm saying? That doesn't make any sense. You can't. How you pray? That's why people say, how can you hate God who you don't see? But he said, how do you how can you love God who you don't see? But hate your brother that you see every day. Maybe you should try to like, you know, correlate the two. And and bring forth an understanding to the situation because right now, at this time and rate, a lot of people are leaving church. A lot of people are leaving church because God is not in the church. I'm just telling you. A lot of people are going to disagree. A lot of people are going to get pissed off at this video. But it is what it is. Because I'm ready to take on any and every question. Because I have the right tools to answer and give you a proficient answer for you to stop with this imaginary friendship. Like, I'm going to tell you something. It behooves me that when when you hear grown 50, 60, 70, 80, or or even young adults, oh, what's on the gift? The most high. Who's the most high? God. Who's God? The creator of all things in existence. Okay. But isn't a creator a man though? Because man is the creator of all things in existence in life. What is man if he's not a man? Man means mind. The intangible intelligence, the one that you call God, was formed and made tangible through the spiraling of energy. And hence brought forth man. The physical man, the original man. If you see the word original, it says origin, the beginning which never began. So for a person to sit there and not understand that concept, it's like, why do all these scholars and these gurus and all of these scholastic people, they can study history, science, art, astronomy, physiology, Anatomy and physiology, biology, microbiology, chemistry, but don't, but, but can't explain God. How are you scientific but can't explain God? How are you mathematical and your, and your strategy and approach of life if you don't know what the language of God? Like, I realized that when I begin to really see people dive in to what they really worship and what they really praise and that is crazy and the reason why I'm saying that is crazy is because look at the situation man 
There's no more profits. There's no more of that. That shit is all gone. There's no more profits. Profits have been dead years ago. You feel what I'm saying? All the profits had tried but were unable. So that means that even if a prophet came to give you the divine message, the closest thing to the prophet was to give you the understanding that, that Allah will be here is the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And he broke it down in such a small, a short, simple way that how can you not want to take heed or understand or internalize what he was saying? It's like, okay. It's like, if I say to you, right, God is soon to come, right? However, I'm not looking at myself or not reverencing myself as God. I'm just the messenger or the prophet of Allah, the one that's sure to come, the true and living. He told you already. Master Far told you who the original man was. Elijah said the black, every time you're looking at a black man, you're looking at God. Then he tells you who and what is God. Then Allah himself, which some people honorably call him, Clarence, Clarence Edward Smith, you know what I'm saying? Um, we don't call him that, you know, in Allah's 5% nation. We call him Allah because he's the man himself. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's God in the flesh. He's the one that taught and understand that the science of who and what is God. And a lot of people took heed. A lot of people didn't take heed. A lot of people said, man, fuck all that bullshit, man. The fuck you teaching that shit for? I don't care about none of that. A lot of people didn't care. You know why? Because that wasn't that wasn't their movement. That wasn't their type of mindset to understand that concept. However, what you gotta understand is this: knowledge came, wisdom came. The understanding showed you. It showed you how to be seen and heard. Like. It, it annoys me that, you know, sometimes I don't get annoyed with it now, but it was annoying me at one point. Like, how can y'all sit here and still look at the planet and it's all this vast and beauty and radiance and still worship something that's not even existing? But however, it's existing, but you just don't see it or you can't see it because your third eye is closed. So, I'm not here to I'm not here to bash, judge, and I'm gonna tell you like this: if a lot of people don't listen to what I'm saying, do yourself a favor, go into your own book of your own religious context, read these passages and the stories, and I guarantee you, you'll find that God is man. There's no difference. There is no difference. All the Bible told you, the Quran told you. The, the Dead, maybe the Dead Sea Scrolls. I didn't read all of it. I read some of it. The book of the book of Maccabees, the wisdom of Solomon, the lost wisdom of Jesus, all type of stuff. All of this stuff is gonna lead you to the answer of who and what is God. So at the end of the day, it's all on you. The choice is on you. On how you sit, on how, how you look at it, on how you begin to understand and conceptualize the idea and the concept of who and what is God the question is when you ask people those questions well who and what is God people are like um the creator they, that's the first thing they'll tell you the creator but who is a representation of identity to identify to give a description of and what is to give a detailed description because when you tell somebody, what is this? Like for instance, right? I could say, somebody could say, what is this? It's a bush with a big ass pot with dirt inside of it. That's not hard to describe. But when it comes to like, God, people be getting all flustered and, oh, I don't know. But yo, you got to do your own research just as have I done my own and really study, man. A lot of y'all lose sight of studying and reading and don't become traditional anymore because you're so technologically sound that all you do is go on ebooks and in other places to, to validate 
That's your reading. But that, that's not reading, though. That's really not reading. But anyways, you get off this phone. Build your brother soon. Build with your sister soon. Any questions or concerns, feel free to ask. You know my, my channel, LSWA72 on YouTube.com. Hit me up. Build with you soon. Peace.